Hello everyone, welcome back here. This is Amrit. In this video, I will give you some tips on Luminous Mixer or in short form, you can say Luma Mix that you can find here under the color wheels uh, at default. It sets on 100 and you can find it only in primary wheels or primary bars. This is not in log wheels. So how it works, just look at these scopes when I am going to move one bar so slightly other bars are also moving and the green color have more luminous value rather than the others and second number red color has little less luminous value than the green color but more than the blue color and the blue color has less luminous value while you can see when i am moving blue bars the other colors are not that much affected in in the scopes you can see that and when i'm going to touch the green bars the other colors are so much affected and if you take the luminous mix value all the way to zero then it start working separately as you can see we are going to touch it only green channel is working here you can see if you are going to touch the blue then only blue if you are going to touch the red then only red and these bar this is for the luminous values let's change our scopes to yrgb now because we are at zero this is not going to affect anything as you can see it's not going to affect because we take it all the way to you but when it is at 100 then if you play with it then it affects everything like here if you are going to take green everything is affected as you can see but if you take the luminous mix value all the way to zero then it is not affecting the others as you can see here and it is very useful when you are matching two shots like i have another shot here let's take it in the wipe i little bit zoomed it to match our view so we can match those colors that we need as you see here in uh, plates they are slightly little bit up and down if the luminous mix value is 100 and we are going to do it then see if i use it like that it is affecting everything you can achieve those results like that So as much you work, it will match more. But if you are using it, let's just reset everything. If you are using it at Luma Mix value zero, then see how easily it will be matching the colors. Let's just take this up from left down. I'm just looking at scopes. I'm not looking even at the image. I'm just matching the scope. And lastly, blue. As you can see, how easily I can match them with Luminex mix value at zero. Uh, I always use it 
when I am matching the shots. So I always work at Luminous Mix Value 100, but in particular node where I am going to match those shots, in that node I set my Luminous Max Value at zero. So now let's do it again with curves. As you can see, little bit up, green little down. Red cell, do it same thing. Now go in blue channel. Go back in the red. Even I am not looking at the image, but by just matching the scopes, I'm able to match the shots. So this is how much easier is that. So you can also set it if you always want it at zero, but I don't want that. But if you want it, then you can also set that. So whenever you are going to add new nodes, so it will always be at zero. So for that, let's go in project setting, go in general option. Here you can find in color, luminous mixer default to zero we are going to click here and save so now whenever you are going to add a new node the luminous mix value set it automatically to zero but i don't want that so i am not clicking here default to zero i want it at 100 i just take it at one node to zero so let's save it back. So now if I'm going to add another node, it is automatically at 100. So that is for today guys. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, give a like. If you have any question, then DM me on my Instagram. I will give my Instagram link in the description. So see you in the next video.